Part of this delay uh, is to let the spacecraft cool off. It's been 5,000 degrees uh, up there. You need before the divers can work with it, put the flotation bag around. It's got to be cool enough to report clear. and uh, see it uh, visually, the uprighting bags inflated. There's a delay on this uh, by procedure. Those bags, if they had gone into the stable two position, which is kind of a misnomer, stable two being that the nose down, right. it would be inflated to bring the nose back up. Uh, and immediately there, because then it would be cool. In this case, it's a precautionary measure to inflate them in case it does topple over to the other position. Then it would push up right again. There it goes in the chopper. Uh, there they go. There goes the divers. Exciting. You never even see this part. <laughs> yeah? You never see this part no. normally. I haven't either, I might add. <laughs> well, they they can't see out of those windows. They're so dark that they can't see out of the water yeah, surface. They, right? no, you can't see that low. You look yeah. up, and in fact, you're looking straight up. It's sort of like an airplane sitting on its tail at this point as far as visibility goes. Um, the windows are uh, looking up toward the apex cover. Uh, the center hatch window does have some visibility, and one way you can see a swimmer's hand come up and wave, which is really consoling. <laughs> slow down the drift. As oriented the command module in the customary manner. What I was about to mention is it'd be interesting to know whether they were three miles from the landing point or three miles from the carrier. If you recall yeah. talking to Jerry Hammock, he mentioned that the carrier would be five miles from the predicted landing point. Now, I'd really like to know how far the spacecraft was from the predicted landing point. Uh, Slim 2 is moving in. You've got an interesting uh, issue. The old, the, the, uh, accuracy record of a third of a mile, I think, of Apollo 7. That's what exactly what I'm paying attention. Yeah, that's why I'm <laughs> <laughs> These swimmers are uh, 
storekeeper, second class Alan Starr of Jackpot, Nevada. He's 23. Uh, Airman Pete Carolyn of Garden Grove, California. He's 22. And Seaman Roger Banfield of Horsehead, New York, 19. in that first uh, group. So and the uh, chopper crew brings them in. Uh, Pilot's commander, Charles Smiley of Oklahoma City. Incidentally, picked up the crew of Apollo 10. Co-pilot, Lieutenant J.G. Dana McCarthy of Chatham, Massachusetts. First crewman, Ralph Slider of Hayden City, West Virginia, and the second crewman, Michael Long of Shelburne, Vermont. A uh, flotation collar will be pulled around the command module uh, with a bungee card. Sound like bungee cord, of course, the, we're saying bungee, which is the uh, rubber based uh, elastic cord that tightens the uh, flotation collar around the base of the command module. The uh, flo flotation collar will be hooked to uh, a bungee line uh, by a line with rings uh, on the flotation collar and uh, will be pulled around before it's inflated. making all these reports theoretically because you can't see what's going on because everybody can see it now. <laughs> well, I imagine they can't see it on the carrier. Uh, I'm not no. sure. They may have monitoring facility there. may not have as good television reception as we do. Is that right? Uh, <laughs> very possibly. The uh, car yeah. is a sh uh, secured uh, two seven-man life rafts uh, will be dropped uh, with sea anchors attached to the bottom. To this is done to keep the rafts from... Uh, from uh, turning over uh, from helicopter backwash. Here we are. Standing by for Look at the color there. That's great. Is it true that the last thing you do before the commander leaves the uh, spacecraft is to turn off the lights? Try to turn off all of the electrical circuits to uh, conserve the battery power, only if you'd like to know how much was left at that point in time. Uh, it takes well, possibly another hour or so for it to get aboard ship. It's kind of hard to extrapolate back what, what the reserves were at this point. Basic flotation collar. Now there's no chance of this thing sinking or turning over. This has been what I would call super nominal ever since we got rid of the uh, aquariums. <laughs> Seventeen minutes of that bobbing around before the flotation collar was affixed. Those 
divers seemed to proceed with great dispatch once they got in the water. Go up on the side, go open the hatch. scrubbing down the decontamination nope. procedures which are necessary for the return from the moon or have been considered necessary. They won't be going into isolation for three weeks. 